<clears throat> Are you thrilled about that? It's better than trying to wrangle them out in the wild. Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. Last episode on Red, White, and Bethune, we had some family dinner, and we got to cutting the dog's hair, loaded them up in the Jeep, and took them to a self-dog wash. Kyle tried his hand at making some salsa, and he forgot to shave half of his mustache. But after that, he decided to put me to work. Let's see what's going on this episode. Uh, <laughs> what's going on in here? We have developed some fruit flies of some sort, some type of gnat fly, and I can't get rid of them. So back home, when we would get fruit flies, I would build me a little trap out of some type of plastic see-through container, which is what I'm doing. Basically, I'm gonna punch some holes in the top and then put some apple cider vinegar in the bottom, and that's what I've had the most success doing. I've bought the ones from stores, I've done everything, and I cannot get rid of them. This is what we're gonna go with. Well, let's show them how it's done. Peeled my stickers off to with make the it torch. clear. Don't get the torch too close. I feel like that you need to mention. That. Yeah, they gotta have some common sense, I guess. Uh, but we're cutting the bread. <laughs> so, what is our first step to killing fruit flies? What I'm gonna do is I, I, I heat up a, a point. That way, it makes a nice, clean hole and doesn't leave a lot of uh, what do they call them? Fragily looking things. Yeah, but on the inside, don't you want the things to point inward so that yeah, they can't Yeah, that's what happened. It's, it pushes down. It's going to heat this up really good. By the way, I love this thing. It was $13.99 on Amazon. It works fantastic. It make me link that below. It's got a refillable uh, butane port. This thing, I love it. Small, it's handheld, and it lasts forever on a tank of butane. I really love this thing. Hashtag not sponsored. Yeah, no, I, I don't even know who makes the thing, but it's, oh, I love this thing. <laughs> get it good and hot. That's what she said. It looks, she's starting to get hot on it. Oh! I'm gonna go around it. <gasps> Ooh! That's kind of mesmerizing, actually. You don't want to do a ton of holes because you want to get them in there where they where they can't get back out. The idea is because they're attracted to apple cider vinegar, and it gets them in there, and then they get trapped, right. and they land on the vinegar, and then they're, they're dead. Put a few more in. So then we'll show you guys like tomorrow what uh, what it looks like. You already acquired. All right, Mister, I'm not putting a whole bunch uh, of holes in there. I need to carry it away. I think this is a potato poker. I thought it was so that you put it on your e boiled egg and then you can slice the egg. Yeah, maybe that's it. I think it's a slicer thing. So like she said, it kind of creates a little bevel on the bottom. That's one reason I like to heat it up. Pick here, apple cider vinegar. It's the best choice. I'd say fill it up. Yeah, yeah, do too much, something like that. Put it's your like seal lid back on. And put it in the location of the thing. Get, leave it in overnight. Say we'll bring you in tomorrow and see how many victims we have. Where are we putting it? We'll start in the bathroom. Okay. That's where most of them, a lot of them are. It's in the shower too. I have no idea where they came from. He is going to go put that in there. I'm going to tidy up the rest of the kitchen. The children, our sweet little offspring right here, they have gotten in trouble, gotten all of their technology taken away, and I am talking Netflix, I am talking YouTube, any form of technology is now taken away. I'm to learn how to be a kid pre-1999 or something. No, like they still didn't have that. No, I feel, yeah. anyway, they're, they're getting a taste of, you know, being a kid without all this technology crap in your face because they can't seem to behave. So they're not happy about this. Hopefully it'll get them to like get along and not be the little They've been terrible. They've been absolutely horrible. Anywho, got my makeup done. We're gonna see you on the live tonight, I hope. Me and Kyle are just gonna sit right here Right. Watch some right here, and actually watch some television while we force our children to do chores. That's our day. Let us know down below how you are spending your day today. Whatever day this comes out, because we don't know. But tell me how you're spending your day today down below in the comments. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe subscribe button, and uh, that way you can get notifications whenever we put a new video out. So, should we chill? All right, let's chill. I don't know if my husband has went like insanely crazy or going real crazy, but he wants to do this real slash TikTok that is on the roof of the bus and he's using the drone to, to fly around him 
on the bus. <laughs> so just say a couple prayers for him. We're gonna go out and like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know! He's insane, he's insane. I really hope that you guys <laughs> like this reel because bless. What are you guys doing, ladies and gentlemen? So they're behind the scenes? They're behind the scenes of your latest scheme. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please don't die. What? I don't plan on it. So tell them what you're doing. I don't know if you guys are TikTok, watch TikTok or you watch reels, Instagram reels, but there's this one really popular reel or whatever going around right now. It's called Stay. It's the song is Stay. And the guy's basically up there shaking his butt and dancing. I want to do it on top of the bus. We're going to use our drone, try to make it happen. Mm, boy. And we'll be down here, me and Ben, safely on the ground where it doesn't involve us. Being on top of a bus where there's nothing but solar panels, so I don't even know where he's going to stand. You're not going up. But we're gonna we're gonna be down here being super safe and then Kyle's gonna be up there. Um safe is safe, so there's that. But I appreciate Kyle's creativity in all of this. It's not really creativity, I'm kinda of stealing it. You are kind of stealing it. But I appreciate the initiative from Kyle to steal somebody else's idea. I guess. There's that. Apparently, I'm supposed to have a hand in this too and not screw it up. I have to press the thingy on the thingy to make it go in a circle to film him in a circle. How much confidence do you have in me right now? You should be able to push a button. Well, I'm just, it's a lot of pressure on I someone. I can't do that, then that would be pretty bad. Wow. So, well, maybe I, I want to get this done. Quit filming. If you guys were looking for an update, did you do the reel, honey? No, the drone is malfunctioning. We couldn't get it to spin around the bus in time for the live. So we're gonna be back at it tomorrow trying to get the reel done. Kyle is in a real big pile of laundry. Yeah, but luckily we were able to do this at the RV park. We didn't have to go to the laundromat, you know, just trying to get it in and out. Honestly though, I kind of like doing it at the laundromat because wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, it all gets done. This for like three days. We're not good with the whole washing, drying, uh, folding, and then putting away. Washing and drying, like we're great at. Whole putting away, we are not. So I think it's time to go to bed. Well, to get this done, Kyle's already got our, our murder shows up and going, our true crime. And then we're just gonna lounge and chill. So, Good night. we'll see you in the morning. Bye. Good news, we got the reel filmed. So we got it really filmed. And I'm excited for you guys to see it. Kyle went out of his comfort zone a little bit. That guy right there, sexy guy doing the dishes. And I could not be more proud of him. But right now he's doing the dishes because he's cooking dinner. But it's not just any ordinary dinner, my friends. No, no. It is a live cooking with Kyle. He can barely contain his excitement. Oh boy. I think he's gonna do great. So I hope that you turned into this because obviously you're, it's, you know, it's gonna be long gone by the time you get there, but I'll leave a link in the description because I'll save it on IGTV. Chico, what you doing? He's just, just chilling. Just chilling, Ma, hanging out. All right, well, I gotta get to helping him, but I will bring this thing out while he's live and give you guys a little peeky peek. Couple pounds. They have fried chicken as well as pizza on a buffet. Like, can you, for a southerner like me, that's, that's, you're speaking my language there. Yeah. How'd your live performance go? You did okay. I, I think you did awesome. I didn't get booed in it, so I guess that's a good thing. Not get booed, you had like 13 people watching for your first one, like that's really good. We're thinking about making it a weekly thing. Shall all join in next week? Yeah. Have all the YouTube crew there and be like, this is where it's at. All 6,000. All 6,000 6, of our subscribers on there watching you. Pretty much. Well, dinner lo is looking looking good. We're going to eat dinner and then, I don't know, we'll probably chill. It's been kind of a chill week. I didn't get stuff edited like I was supposed to. You know, all the things. But you love me though. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Good morning. It is the whole reason why we came back to Rapid City. It's tattoo day. So I get to go into Rapid City for quite a few hours by myself. And uh, Kyle's gonna hold the fort down at the bus. <clears throat> Are you thrilled about that? It's better than trying to wrangle them out in the wild. 
<laughs> out in the wild. I'm gonna leave the camera here and I'll see you when I get back. So I'm, handing, I'm handing you off to Kyle. Bye bye. Bye bye, Felicia. So look who's back from getting her tattoo already. I got a phone call saying my artist is sick. So, um, yeah, we rescheduled for September 10th. And, like, literally the only reason we came back to Rapid City was to do this. So I, I will be patient. We rescheduled it for September 10th, and I hope that she feels better soon. But I'm back here for the day. Yay. So today we are going to get a whole lot of nothing done. I'm just kidding. It's kind of nasty outside. But we're probably just going to hang out, clean the bus up a little bit. We're doing laundry. We're going to keep laundry going. It's kind of cold and nasty out today, so probably just kind of hang loose and chill a little bit. All right, guys, we are almost finished packing up here. Heading out of Jack's Campers here in Piedmont, South Dakota. We are heading to Hart Ranch today. So not much of a drive. It's only about a half an hour away. Turn the old batteries on. But yeah, actually, I'm planning on going and washing the bus first. There's a pretty good truck wash in Rapid City, so I'm going to do that. And we actually can't check into Hart Ranch until 2, so we're going to go by Walmart, kind of hang out there a couple hours. i got to do some grocery shopping. We're pretty much out of everything. That's pretty much what's on the docket today. I'm pretty sure Jenna will be editing most of the day. Let's go inside and see what they got going on. Man, what are you doing? Get oh, Dennis, he's in his normal uh, riding seat. Yeah, it's red, in the ready position. He uh, he reserves that seat every day, every travel day. He has to give you emotional support when you're going down the road. Is that the way it is? I'm pretty sure I have to give him emotional support. Probably. He's a... He's problem. not the biggest travel fan. He tolerates it. He just kind of lays there and sleeps. Yeah. So we're getting stuff packed up. We are going to Heart Ranch, which the kids are really excited about, but they don't oh. know the pool's closed. Pool's closed, Molly. She knows. I told her yesterday. Eli doesn't know. Oh yeah, Labor Day was the last big hurrah for them, so they closing all their yeah. all that stuff down. We're gonna go see. We're gonna go see Garrett. We're gonna go hang out with Garrett for a little bit and just kind of get some work done and let the kids just stay out of the bus 24/7, pretty much. Sounds good to me. So I'll meet you guys here in just a few minutes, and we'll head that way. Wow! Chico! What's going on, guys? I told you I'd jump in the seat with you. Anyway, we're pulling out of Jack's here. A um, little info on this place, it's Jack's Campers in Piedmont, South Dakota. It has a name, uh, but basically you call up Jack's Campers say, hey, I would like to stay a couple nights or whatever. It's 25 bucks a night. They don't have a weekly rate. I'm pretty sure they do have a monthly rate. It's not bad. It's full hookup, 50 amp, uh, water sewer. So it's not bad. You know, no frills, definitely nothing fancy, but it's affordable, somewhat affordable place to stay in this area because there aren't many. Usually everything I've looked at for the most part is like 45 plus a night. So it's not a bad option. We're pulling out. I'm headed to the truck wash or the bus wash, whatever you want to call it. This bad girl is dirty. 10 left on to Sturgis Road. Like I said, I think it's the one we used on the way out uh, last time in Rapid City. So I just want to give it a goo this time. We can't check into Heart Ranch until um, 2 o'clock anyway. So we're going to do that. We're going to go to Walmart. i got to get some groceries, get a few supplies, because we're pretty tapped out in that department. The kids, freaking kids, each out of house and home. It's, uh, we're leaving this area for, well, kind of. We're just going to Rapid City, but only about a half hour. I'll pick you guys up. Probably at the car wash, bus wash, what have you. But um, yeah, see you guys in a bit. Sandra Crispo was last seen at her home in Hanson, Massachusetts on August 7, 2019. The lights and AC were left on at her home. Her dog was left without food and water and her purse and shoes were missing. Her vehicle was being repaired at a mechanic shop. Sandra Crispo is a 54-year-old woman with a slender build, green eyes, and brown hair. She was last seen wearing a white t-shirt, pink sweatpants, and slip-on shoes. If you have any information on Sandra Crispo's whereabouts, please call the Hanson Police Department at 781-293-4625. Let's try and bring Sandra home. 